Okay, here we have sonnet number five. Okay, in Q1, the speaker states that time, represented by hours, did frame the lovely gaze where every eye doth dwell. So, time produced your beauty. It helped frame your beauty where everyone is looking. But time will eventually play the tyrant. So, metaphorically, is uh, connected to a tyrant. And this metaphorical tyrant will eventually destroy your beauty. Because it will make those things that are fair eventually unfair. Because time is never resting. And while you're in the summer of your life now, and this is a metaphor for youth, you will eventually reach death. And death is presented as winter. Because remember, time never stops. And you, the summer eventually will turn into winter. And all those things of summer that are beautiful, the lusty leaves are going to be gone. The things that are alive are going to be, are going to be dead. The barrenness everywhere, beauty over snowed. So this is Q2 here. And Q2 is basically cautionary. But there's a solution in Q3. And that's basically this. Here we have this distillation process. That the flowers of summer that are so beautiful, the essence of that flower will remain in um, pent in walls of glass. And that distillation, here we have the process of extracting perfumes from the petals of a flower. And so the essence of the flower, the the, the beautiful nature of the flower will continue even when the flower itself is gone. And here in the couplet, we have the speaker state that even though, but flowers distilled, though they with winter meet. So even though the flowers that are distilled, they eventually will get destroyed by winter, least but their show, their substance still lives sweet. Their outward appearance is gone, but the substance lives on. So here, by implication, so by implication, and here we have figuration. Figuration is the use of figurative language. We have this notion of this distillation. The speaker is implying that the only way that the beauty will live on of the addressee is through procreation and through having a child. So remember, this is sonnet number five, and it's within the procreation series, one through 17. So this is just uh, another um, metaphorical development here Shakespeare is using the metaphor of youth and death, summer and winter, and then he's using this distillation process, um, dealing with the extraction of perfumes from flowers, and this implication here is once again dealing with the speaker and the only way that his beauty will live on forever is if he has a child. And the child, um, in essence, would be the, the, the beauty that's extracted and that's going to live on. And that's the only way that people will remember the, um, the addressee and the beauty of the addressee, just like... The only way to remember the flowers is through the perfume. So once again, we have the theme of passing on your, your beauty through progeny or through children. 